Welcome to Cyber Talk, where we talk about the life and how it is to be a cyber backer working from home. Cyber Talk is powered by Cyberbacker, the leading provider of world class admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our official website, www.cyberbacker.com, for more details. All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to a few people. Of course, to the people who are listening to our or watching our podcast, this mm-hmm. is our very first podcast that has a video on it. And we are very, very lucky to have Hannah and Erica here with us today. So how are you guys? Doing fine. All right. Doing good. Doing good. All right. That's perfect. That's perfect. So if you don't mind me asking, Eric, what's time, what time is it currently where you are? Erica? For me, here mm-hmm. in the United States, I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas, and it is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. 4 o'clock in the afternoon for Hannah. How about you, Erica? What time is it where you are at right now? So I'm currently residing here in the Philippines, and it's already 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Imagine that. Now, mm-hmm. this is what the beauty of Cyberbacker is, right? Regardless of what time zone you are, we will always be here to help you guys out. So um, I just have a few questions for you. I just wanted you to know, be honest as much as you can. (laughs) Of course, for our (laughs) listeners to be able to know what it is that we do here in Cyberbacker. Okay. So Hannah, my first question is for you. So what's the mode of communication that you use to communicate with your Cyberbacker, Erica? We use a lot of email back and forth. Um, she kind of keeps me in line actually with emails, with the expectations for the day, the week. Um, we also text a lot. I believe Erica, is it a Google voice number that you have? Yeah. So it's an app. We use that for our team actually as well to run our business. We've got two lines and then she uses one to communicate with me. So we send, we text throughout the whole day and a lot of email back and forth, Google drive, is you know up to date and stays live Mm -hmm. you know currently and it saves automatically so multiple people can be in the document editing at the same time and that's a few of the systems and tools that we use and so far they've been working really well for us all right that's good to hear so how about you eric um is this your first time working as a cyber backer or virtually yes it's my first time actually it's my first job ever so wow congratulations that's good so how long have you both been working together as a team we've been working for already seven for almost seven months almost seven months so how is it so far how about you anna how is it so far from the first day that you worked with eric up until today It's been good. Uh, Fantastic. This is our first time having a virtual assistant and working kind of remotely, I guess you'd say, Mm -hmm. I guess a little bit of a blessing with COVID. We've, I had never really used Zoom to be honest Mm -hmm. up until last year when, you know, COVID hit and we had to go remote and I'm now here in the office and a few of us are, Mm -hmm. the most of our team is still working from home. So you know, getting very familiar. We're on Zoom throughout the whole day. Mm -hmm. So Erica will pop on in our morning meetings. And it's just kind of like she would be at home, you know, a few miles away. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of the same thing. So I mean, definitely little things to adapt. But it's been fantastic. And, you know, we've learned along the way what works, what doesn't work and just Mm -hmm. kind of adjusted and we have a little jive. I think that's working fantastic. So So what you're saying is everything is going smoothly right now with Erica. Is that right? Yes. And we just, yeah. So at six months, she was interested in moving up to full time. And I needed that so much to help, you know, take some of the time on tasks type work and things that the database just kind of got, you know, left behind birthday cards, anniversary Mm -hmm. cards, helping with, you know, other postings on social Mm -hmm. media, database cleanup. You know, she's been able to, just take off and run with that and own that job. And it's been, it's been wonders. It's been fantastic. Been fantastic for Hannah. How about you, Erica? Has there been anything changed in your life ever since working with Hannah? Working with with her was very easy because I, um, I, she, and I communicate very well and everything's fine with her. 
for my job. There we go. That's good. So, Hannah, how do you effectively delegate, let's say, the tasks to Erica and while making sure that it's not too much, of course, for one person? Yes. Um, I think just kind of she'll kind of send me a text uh, right before my day gets started and just ask, hey, what, you know, what can I help with? This is my task duties that's already on her schedule mm -hmm. or on her calendar to complete for that day. Is there anything else that's more, you know, of a priority mm -hmm. that you would rather see? Um, sometimes, sometimes it changes. Sometimes it didn't. Like we were emailing just a few minutes ago, just, hey, <laughs> next week at some point and you've got some time. Let's do this fun thing for the girls um, to be able to mark off how many homes they've sold this year. You know, it's not a priority, but they, you know, in the next week or two, whenever you've got some downtime, you know, we can get that done. So just kind of staying one step ahead and just good mm -hmm. communication, you know, is key in any type of a job role. And mm -hmm. so that has been well with text messages and emails. So mm -hmm. just kind of tag team. That is true, right? Most of the time, communication is very difficult, even if you're working, let's say, inside a one office. But especially for now, since you are working with Erica, who is miles and miles away, right? So communication is very, very important. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. So, um, Hannah, was there any, let's say, tough situations that's been, um, let's say, hindering you from performing something like that or helping your cyber backer recently? Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know of many things hindering, you know, mm -hmm. if we have any little things, we'll email and I'll just explain it better instead mm -hmm. of just shooting a real quick email. We've gotten on Zoom a few times, just her and I, when something was a little bit more complicated, mm -hmm. Loom or some videos um, that we will screen record mm -hmm. and I can shoot a quick little video of explaining it real quick. Um, so that's kind of just the only little things, you know, with technology these days. And again, with COVID and working remotely, mm -hmm. it's been pretty easy to adapt and it's has not been a problem. I think a few years ago, mm -hmm. it would have had some, you know, distant communication type of hurdles. But for now, it's it's been very easy. All right. That's good. That's very good to hear. How about you, Erica? What are the three things that you really like about working with Hannah? So I am working with Hannah and the other girls from the Ellison group. And mm -hmm. working with them is tr just truly really amazing because for a woman like me who is just starting her career, it really inspires me to be working in a woman-driven team. And I also admire Hannah's leadership skills because she always makes everything on track. And mm -hmm. lastly, even though I haven't met her in person yet, I feel like we have this close relationship and with other workmates, that's why we can efficiently work together and communicate well. It really yeah. shows the both of you would really see once you're here, even if we're not right in front of each other physically. But I can see that there is already a relationship, relationship that's been built. How about you, Hannah? Let's say three best things that you would like to mention about working with Erica. Yeah, um, I mean, kind of through the interview process, you know, at the end of it, whenever I was interviewing through, you know, multiple people through Cyberbacker, that was one of her last questions of, you know, how is it working as, you know, a group of women? And we are 10 girls on the team, actually. Oh, wow. And it's been fun. We've had guys on the team, so we have no issues about that. It's of just course. kind of worked <laughs> out. <laughs> Some of the people that have been in came and gone um, on our team and, usually working with a bunch of women can cause some issues. Um, we have all the age ranges you can imagine on our team and it's really fun. Our culture, we keep very, very high. We celebrate a lot of wins, micro wins, big wins. We do talk about the lows and mm -hmm. you know, all the other things uh, is everything's off the plate, off the table okay. on our team. And so, um, yeah, working with Erica, she's, you know, we just kind of took her in and it's been fantastic. Our girls look forward to looking at our morning meetings when she's on. Um, she got an award today and got nominated. Just wow, so that's nice. That's perfect. <laughs> she got two. You got two awards. <laughs> she got nominated um, to be the Rising Leader Award for wow. the month of March and then also top admin on our team. So we celebrate little things. We've got three awards we give out every month. Um, yeah, Rising Leader Award, Top Admin, and Top Sales Agent. So 
she got two of the three awards that were given out. We were a little bit behind on announcing those uh, mm -hmm. in this crazy market right now. But yeah, yes, that's just really true. exciting and just been fun. Really wow. Erica, you've only been with Hannah for a few months, not even a year. Now you're yep. winning awards with their team. Terrific job. Good job. So Thank you. let me ask you then, what's the best experience so far that you've had or that you can share with our, of course, potential cyber backers, Erica? What can you share with them now working with Hannah, working so virtually as well? Mm -hmm. Before I was really losing hope in finding my perfect client because I was going through from interviews to interviews for almost a month and mm -hmm. because of that my daily experience with them and getting to know the girls better from the team is enough to make me thrive more and do more for the team because it just makes me so proud that i am part of the mm -hmm. Allison. very yes. very proud how mm -hmm. about you hannah um in your opinion what would be the main key aside from communication of course to make this kind of relationship work a client and a cyber backer relationship I think making the personal connection, you know, and talking about real life things, you know, she likes to go to the beach and do things. They've had some weather this past week. So just kind of being transparent, like I had COVID back in January and just, I had to take some time and, you know, just kind of being, we treat her, you know, just alike as she was sitting right next to me behind me at, you know, one of the other girls chairs that they're working from home. Um, so just kind of, you know, it's again with, you know, COVID and being, re you know, mm -hmm. remote, it's just, I kind of do the same thing I do with the rest of the team and mm -hmm. keeping that, you know, she's been with us, you know, for seven months and it feels like a few years. So, um, yeah, just kind of keeping the, the relationship and communication up and getting to know people personally. We mm -hmm. had some snow on the ground and we talked about that for a few days, <laughs> how she's never seen snow and what's that like? And just, you know, just kind of fun stuff. So. Yeah. Cause we, here in the Philippines, we only have two seasons, the wet and dry. That's it. No yeah. winter. So unlucky for us, we, we haven't even seen snow yet, but hopefully mm -hmm. in the future, right? Never <laughs> say never. For example, never you know. might even see each other personally, you and Erica, right? Yeah, we've talked about it. I want to come visit there. She wants to come here. I'm like, come on, anytime. <laughs> That's perfect. Right after the pandemic, of course. <laughs> right. Yes, All of course. Right. So, ladies, that is the last part of the serious part of our interview, let's say, per se. So I have a few questions here. Let's say um, rapid fire interviews. I mean questions, sorry, not interviews. So <laughs> Hannah, you've gone through the rapid fire interview with Cyberbacker previously. You as well, Erica, right? The rapid mm -hmm. fire round. Now I have a few questions here that I'd like you to answer as soon as you hear the question. Let's just see where the similarities are between the both of mm -hmm. you, okay? You guys game? Yeah. game? All right, perfect. My first question is, McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. McDonald's. There we go. That's one. Pasta or pizza? Pasta. Pizza. Pizza. There we go. Okay. Morning person or night owl? Night owl. Morning person. <laughs> yeah, obviously we're night owls, Eric. Right? We yeah, night. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, next question, dogs or cats? Cats. Cats. There yeah. you go. Another one. Podcast or book? Podcast. Podcast. All right. They're going to listen to the podcast. Good job, guys. Beach <laughs> or go to the mountains? Oh, beach. Ooh, mountains. <laughs> Probably mountains. Yeah. Mountains. Okay. Yeah, I like the snow. Movie theater <laughs> or Netflix? Mm, theater. Netflix. I really miss theater. <laughs> theater. Okay. How about you, Hannah? Netflix. Netflix, of course, at home. <laughs> now, if you would choose a big living room or a big kitchen? Mm, big living room. Big living room? Probably big kitchen. I like to cook a lot. Oh, that's nice. Cooking. Yeah. Now, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Read minds or see the future? Mm, probably see the future. Future? Uh, mine would probably be to fly. Fly, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Last question. <laughs> Superman or Batman? Batman because he's rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about you, Anna? <laughs> Probably Superman just because he can fly. Okay. Oh, yeah, because you want to yeah. fly. Okay. Yeah. So I have one last question for you, ladies. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this. Are you familiar with the word Donald Ducking? 
Donald mm. Ducking. Okay, and let me explain. Mm -hmm. Donald Duck is, but not no. Not the, the verb. Yeah. Okay, just to let you know, Donald Ducking means because um, usually we live in Zoom, especially because of the pandemic, right? Everyone has to look formal up top, so wear a nice shirt, uh, something like that. But down at the bottom, some people just use their PJs, pajamas, things like that, even just shorts. So let me ask you, ladies, do you do Donald Ducking? Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> yes, for the both of you. So when was the last time that you did Donald Ducking, ladies? Actually, no. <laughs> okay, Eric is Donald Ducking right now. How about you, Hannah? Um, I've got just a sweatshirt on, but earlier I for sure had my nice uh, this morning for a uh, oh, okay. interview. For yeah. meeting interviews and everything, right? Business attires. All right. So ladies, I have one more request for you. For the people who is currently listening right now or watching our podcast episode, what would you like to say to, to them about your experience here in Cyberbacker? It's been fantastic. I was a little bit hesitant at first. I knew I needed the help mm -hmm. and I have a problem with letting go and leveraging and trusting, I believe, that it can get taken care of. And with high communication and setting expectations and having a plan and drawing that out in advance or just having like we do our monthly calendars for you know social media it's all drawn out i know what she's working on that day i know what's going out next friday um so she can start planning you know ahead of time so i think just setting expectations giving the trust but having good instruction from the both of us if she has a question she asks it immediately she doesn't hesitate or you know try to figure it out on her own you know i think she will probably for a little while but you know, she doesn't hesitate to ask questions and I love when people ask any type of question. So that's been just high communication is key. Mm -hmm. um, and keeping that personal relationship is also really key in any type of business relationship. Of course, asking questions is your, of course, want to grow, right? Something that you don't know and you would want to know more, right? Right. Now, yeah. Erica, how about you? So for those who are aspiring to be a cyber backer, the application may be tough and it it's it kind of drains you through the application process but i guarantee that it is worth it once you find the perfect client like me i have found the perfect my perfect pair which is hannah mm -hmm. all right ladies thank you very much for your time and to all of our listeners if you want to be part of the cyberbacker family of course you know what to do just visit our websites thank you very much and we'll see you again next week thank you ladies perfect thank you Thank you for listening to our weekly episode of Cyber Talk. Tune in again next week for a brand new episode. Visit our official website www.cyberbacker.com and don't forget to like Cyberbacker on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you again next week and don't forget make life bigger with Cyberbacker. Till next time.